Have you ever wondered how water systems like aqueducts and siphons work? Welcome to the intriguing world of water systems. Today, we'll explore fascinating structures like the aqueduct, which carries a canal over a drain, the siphon aqueduct, where the drain water passes under pressure, and the superpassage, a structure allowing a drain to cross over a canal. We'll also delve into the canal siphon and level crossing, where waterways meet and mingle. Let's dive deeper into each of these water systems to understand how they work. First, let's explore aqueducts. You can liken an aqueduct to a bridge, but not for cars or pedestrians. Instead, it's a bridge for water. Designed as an architectural marvel, an aqueduct carries a canal over a drain. It's a design that harnesses the power of gravity, allowing the drain water to flow freely underneath. Aqueducts cleverly elevate the canal above the land, providing a clear path for the drain water beneath. So, in essence, aqueducts are like bridges for water. Next, we have the siphon aqueduct. Imagine a structure that carries a canal over a drain, but with a twist. Unlike a traditional aqueduct, where the drain water flows freely under gravity, the siphon aqueduct takes a different approach. Here, the drain water is forced to pass under pressure through a section that's been purposely depressed under the canal. This unique design allows the canal to be elevated over the drain, while the drain water is pushed through the depressed section. It's a bit like a water slide for the drain water, with the canal sitting on top. This arrangement isn't just a fancy trick, it's a smart engineering solution that ensures smooth and efficient water flow. It's a demonstration of how pressure and gravity can work together in a controlled environment. Siphon aqueducts are a fascinating blend of engineering and fluid dynamics. Now let's turn our attention to the superpassage, canal siphon, and level crossing. Enter the world of superpassages. These ingenious structures carry a drain over a canal. It's quite the role reversal, isn't it? Instead of the canal running over the drain, the drain takes the high road. The canal water flows freely under gravity, undisturbed by the drain above. Now let's dive into the concept of a canal siphon, or as some might call it, a siphon superpassage. This structure also carries a drain over a canal. However, there's a twist. The canal water doesn't just flow freely. Instead, it passes under pressure through a depressed section under the drain. This process creates a unique interaction between the drain and the canal, demonstrating the versatility of these water systems. Finally, we come to the level crossing. This structure is the meeting point, the junction where a canal and a drain cross each other at the same level. Their waters mix, creating a confluence of flows. It's a place of connection, where separate paths intersect and continue on their way. These water systems, the superpassage, canal siphon, and level crossing, illustrate the innovative ways we've learned to manage water. They show us how we can guide it, channel it, and even make it defy gravity. These water systems are prime examples of human ingenuity and our ability to harness nature for our benefit. So, what have we learned about these water systems? We've discovered that aqueducts and siphon aqueducts carry canals over drains, with the difference lying in how the drain water passes, freely under gravity or under pressure. Superpassages take the drain above the canal, while siphon superpassages or canal siphons do the same, but with the canal water passing under pressure. Finally, a level crossing allows a canal and drain to cross at the same level, mixing their waters. As you can see, these water systems are more than just structures. They are the lifeblood of our civilizations, allowing us to manage water resources effectively.